If I had to describe my personal style, it would be everything that would be a New Orleans gumbo. That's everything in that pot. As I've grown, I've definitely been introduced to different styles and I've been put in different places, traveling around the world to where I can see different styles of fashion and I just pick up little pieces from that and add it to my archive. And that's the way I approach music. I was able to accumulate all type of experiences over the time and I put all of that in one pot. I tell people to go down to the Blue Nile on any given night and it's going to be some great experience that you'll be able to take home forever with you. It's the same piano from a long time ago. I can hear it. It's banged up, huh? After Katrina, it was a weird but good energy because everybody was so emotional that we're actually back in the Blue Nile and we're doing what we love. And at that point, we all decided that we're going to do what we can to bring back New Orleans note by note. What's up? That's my teacher. And whenever I see tie-dye, the meters always come to my mind. Art Neville, uh, George Porter still wears tie-dye. The Louisiana Music Factory, it would let me come in as a kid and pick up CDs and, uh, and for free. Sometimes they'll just give me stuff and be like, you should listen to this. And they'll give me Reaper Brass Band records and Kermit Ruffins. Yeah, I always look forward to going and get some records and, and listening. That's what I like to do. I just go in there and just close my eyes and pick up something, and I don't know what it is, and I just listen to it. Going out to dinner, I gotta have a nice tailored suit and a nice pair of shoes. Sometimes I like to do like a nice colorful shirt underneath, maybe some flowers on it. Lil Dizzy's is at the end of my neighborhood on the edge of Trimé and everything New Orleans you can get it there from po' boys to gumbo to red beans and rice, great fried chicken, bread pudding New Orleans style, everything. And I just love it because they represent all of New Orleans and the Trimé. You can feel it when you walk in the door that everybody's greeting you and hugging you. And we're just driving. Keep call is mine. I think they open it. Swing the blind. Everybody has to go to Lil Dizzy's when they come to New Orleans, the same way they have to come to Blue Now to get that spirit. You got to see that. There's music everywhere, I tell you that. What's happening? That's an unspoken tradition that we pay it forward, that a lot of great musicians have done that for me, and it's only right that I reach back and do it for the next generation and hopefully we can keep the lineage and heritage of New Orleans music going however they want it to sound, but at least the spirit of what we do will always stay alive.